guys welcome back to the channel here at breezy woods homestead as you can see it's a really really bright sunny day um it is actually kind of chilly though um i think our high for today is uh, like 62 or 63 or something but um i'm out here um in the barn right now because today what we're going to be doing is building another one of these so one of our biggest um, videos has most views. I think it's right around 3,600, 3.6K um, views, um, which isn't a, a, a bunch bunch, but for a small time YouTube channel like us, it's a pretty big deal. Um, but anyways, um, that video is about this hay feeder that we made. We used the futon frame, recycled it, and turned it into this hay feeder. And it's done great for us. We haven't had any issues um let me kind of show you this is what it used to look like so as you can see there's no bottom to it it's pretty low to the ground um we were having issues with the goats actually jumping up inside and we kind of got tired of that because what they do is when they jump up inside on top of the hay is they end up pooping all over it and then they want nothing to do with it it's just a bunch of hay gone to waste so what we did to fix those two problems is let me show you we actually got some pieces of plywood zip tied the plywood to the bottom of the hay feeder so that it made it you know gave it a little platform that way here let me turn the camera around so as you can see we got the plywood here we just zip tied drilled some holes in it zip tied it to the frame of the what was a futon we're gonna call it a hay feeder now but we zip tied it to the bottom frame of the hay feeder and then after that all we did was build a pretty basic standard wooden frame underneath it so that we could raise it up off the ground since we've done this we have had a lot less I mean there's a lot on the ground but we go through a lot of hay um there's been a lot less waste still than what there used to be um, most of it gets caught up here on this little platform we made out of the uh, the plywood and the frame underneath bringing it up in the air uh, almost two feet up in the air we haven't had a single issue with the goats jumping up inside of it getting on the hay pooping all over it but it's cool because another good thing it does is you know these two by fours offer some support for these feed buckets um, feed bowls so this is where we feed the goats their grain so it's kind of like an all-in-one uh, hay feeder <laughs> we can hang our feed buckets on it I was thinking of even maybe um, putting some little mineral um, feeders on the sides here but we got our minerals there and some more feed buckets over here so again we built that hay feeder out of an old futon frame and it's done amazing for us it was really cheap it only cost us about thirty dollars to make and it is really bright but um it only cost us about thirty dollars to make the one we're going to be making today is literally going to be the same exact thing as that we're going to do the same process i'm just going to show you guys a little bit more um, of a detailed video on how to turn that futon into a hay feeder because um, i've gotten a lot of questions about it um, we've had a lot of traffic on that video so a lot of people were interested thinking think it's a good idea and it is because it's very cheap and I mean you can't tell me that doesn't look like a pretty like pretty good hay feeder I mean it almost looks like it's a it almost looks like one of them really expensive ones that you go buy from a you know a feed store a tractor supply something like that but um here's the stuff we got going on for this new one we're gonna build and by the way, if you didn't check out that last video, you know, the first video we have um, where we did this, go through our videos and uh, find that video and check it out. It is, you know, pretty cool idea. I'm actually pretty surprised we were able to come up with this using a futon frame to make a hay feeder. It's a pretty cool idea. But um, anyways, this is the, these are the goats. <laughs> this is the hay feed or the, well, soon to be hay feeder. It's the futon frame we're going to use um, doesn't have the cushion or nothing and just like the last one we actually found this on Facebook marketplace um, somebody was just selling it they just had this futon frame they no longer needed just taking up space in their house and sold it for 10 bucks so 
This hay feeder is actually going to be $10 cheaper than the last one. Last one cost us about $30 to make. This one's going to cost us about $22 to make. So um, that's pretty good. I'm always, I'm always game for saving money, especially, you know, being on a farm. You know, there's plenty of ways that you can do this homestead farming thing and save money doing it. Like, and this is one of them. But um, that is the futon frame. And I already went ahead and made the... Uh, bottom frame for this one um yesterday actually and uh i didn't think you know it was too important to film this um it's just literally four legs with a rectangle frame a little bit of support on the bottom here that's all it is and the futon is going to sit right on top of it and then we got our plywood already measured out and cut here to zip tie to the bottom to make our hay catcher so we don't have a lot of waste and uh that's it so uh, we're gonna have to actually run up to, as you've seen <laughs> on our, at our uh at our other hay feeder we actually are out of hay we got to go restock on that so after i finish building this we're going to go to the feed store get some hay fill these things up and see how they like it which they're going to like it because they love the other one so this new one's going to be the same exact thing no different first thing we're going to need to do um as you can kind of see the part we're going to use to hold the hay is a little off centered um so what we need to do in order to make it centered is take that part off and we need to rotate it around and then after you do that you you know screw it back in and it'll be centered there's just two see here two little bolts and then it has the nuts on the back side right there so you just take those off on each side and then turn it around put them back in after we do that we're gonna go ahead and put it onto the frame over there hey Okay, so now it's a lot more centered. Only thing we need to do is take these two screws out and you're not really gonna need to use those anymore. You're just gonna, that way you can lift this side up a little bit more. Cause right now that's as narrow as I can get the little V shaped thing where that, that's gonna hold the hay. That's as closed as it gets. But um, I'm gonna undo that part and we're actually gonna be able to close them up a little bit more and then put our U-bolts um, to connect it to this big bar right here. And then we'll be ready to put it up here onto the frame, put our plywood underneath it, and put hay in it. Alright, so there's the basic idea. 
that's pretty much on the last video um, on the first video where I did this um, that this is pretty much what I left you guys with so you can see it's really low to the ground the goats can easily jump into that so that's exactly why we made this wooden frame over there hey It's looking more and more like it's supposed to it looks nothing like a futon anymore that's for sure so let's get this plywood and let's get that strapped up to this thing so that we can go to the feed store and get some hay before they close All right, guys, well, we're all done, and that is how you make a DIY hay feeder. Really inexpensive and really easy. Um, like I said earlier, our first one cost us 30, about 30 bucks, and this one's gonna cost us $22. Very cheap. Now, the wood would be extra um, if you don't have extra wood laying around. We have plenty of extra wood laying around, so that's how we were able to make the little stand for it. But yeah, there she is. Really simple to make. Only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the bolt cutters and just cut this excess off right here. Um, got our plywood all zip tied in. As you can see, I just drilled some holes, zip tied it in, put two zip ties every other hole just because goats are a mess and will break literally everything. But yeah, there we go. All right, we got a little bit of hay here. We're gonna put that in the new hay feeder, see what happens. They're probably thinking, this looks familiar. Yeah, like so yeah, climbing on the sides like that is as worse as it gets, but they can't jump up inside of it. If they really wanted to, they probably could, but they don't try with the other one, so they shouldn't with this one. But there we go, looks to be working like a charm. By the way, can you tell, you might be able to tell, Wendy over here, I'm pretty sure all three does are pregnant, but Wendy here, if she let me get it, she's starting to widen out. You can see that plywood we added at the bottom already starting to do what it's supposed to and catch a lot of the excess that falls out as they yank the hay out of the feeder. I mean, and some will hit the ground like that, but uh, this will help some. You like the parts on top, huh? This is Coco. She was one of our bottle babies. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That's about all we got for the day. You can see that the hay feeder, they're loving it already. Um, I mean, they got plenty of pasture out here, but uh, with the season changing, starting to get cold out, a lot of grass is drying up, so we definitely needed to get something out here that we can supplement with hay. And uh, found a futon on, for sale on Facebook Marketplace and figured why not do the same thing we did with the last one since it worked so well. And we got so much positive feedback on you know social media and stuff because of it. But works really well but that's about all we got for the day guys i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoy your the rest of your day and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>